Filling out your benefit form is a simple process. The easiest way is to go online, then click on Do it online. You can either fill out the form in one sitting or use a unique reference number to go back to a save session where you can retrieve a claim form entry. Before you start your application, it's important to fully read through our guidance notes. These will give you more information on the process, what is needed to fill in the form correctly, and provides details of our local council tax reduction scheme. Once you have read the guidance notes, press the next button at the bottom of the screen. To start with, we need to find out some more information about you. Please make sure you fill out all the fields marked with an asterisk. If you wish to, you can navigate your application pages by using the previous and next buttons at the bottom of the screen. You can also access each page by using the navigation bar on the left-hand side. The next section will tell us what other benefits you are currently receiving, if any. It also includes more important personal information we require and an option for you to select which method of contact you would like us to use if we need to get in touch. We will then ask you to provide some more information regarding your current address, nationality or if you have any disability. Next, please tell us if you have any children. You may be able to receive more money if you have children in your household, so it's important that you fill this section in properly. If you select Yes, there will be additional information required regarding each child in your household. The next section includes non-dependents. A non-dependent can be anybody who lives with you apart from your partner or children that you still receive child benefit for. This section includes details of any additional circumstances relating to your claim. This could be other claims that you have submitted or allowances you are already receiving. The next section asks for details of employment. If you select Yes, then you will be asked to fill in more information about your employment. You will be asked if you are currently receiving any benefits. If you are, then you will need to fill in additional information about them. The pension section of the form requires you to list any private pension schemes you are currently either paying into or receiving income from. Following on from pensions, you will then be asked if you have capital, savings or investments. If you answer yes, you will be asked for more information regarding them. The next section will require you to fill out a contact that we can speak to regarding your claim. We also give you the opportunity to include any additional information you think we will need to process your claim. Here, you will need to provide us evidence of the information you have provided. This could be proof of savings or investments or details about current or previous employment. This section asks you to answer a few simple questions about yourself. We use this to make sure we are treating you equally to everyone else and are not discriminating against anyone. It also helps us to tailor and target our services to ensure everyone can access them. This is the final section of the form. Here you will declare that all the information you have provided is correct and we can proceed with your claim. We may come back to you with further questions if we need more details.